Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Gusty's Plants. Today I have another Hoya unboxing. Another Hoya unboxing from HoyaPlants.com. So if you're interested in seeing what I got this time, stick around. So I've ordered multiple plants from this seller before and this is probably my 15th Hoya purchase from them. There's two Hoyas in this box. Um, I'm not going to recommend HoyaPlants.com because um, I really haven't used them for a long time and that was a, a mistake I had last year where I would recommend a seller and then you guys will probably buy from them and maybe had a bad experience and I will feel guilty for doing such. So now I'm not going to recommend anyone. I'm just going to show you my unboxings and based on my videos, if you think that you want to give them a go, then give them a go. But I just don't want to be health responsible. I don't want to have it in my mind that because of me, um, you guys bought something and you guys were not, you know, happy with it. I've had a bad and I've had good with this seller. It's like 50-50. Um, this last few times I've had really positive outcomes with them. But um, for the most part, um, they're leaning towards the better side. I ordered from them three years ago and... Anyways, too much blabbering. Um, anyways, let me show you guys exactly the package. And it comes right here. It tells you I spent $15 shipping for these plants. So it's two plants. They're uh, locally in Florida. They're found in Florida. So the, the vendors are from Florida. It's a husband and wife shop. But um, I got some nice dandy scissors. So let's go ahead and cut the box. <clears throat> They always ship with the priority mail, so they do ship really fast. <gasps> oh my god. Don't ever cut facing you, always cut away from you. I just learned that the hard way. Okay. So I am excited to see what we have here. I feel like the more I do videos, the dumber I get when it comes to opening boxes. I used to not really struggle, but apparently now I am. Alright guys, so once you order pants from them, this is what you can expect. You always get these um, packing peanuts, like styrofoam packing peanuts. And let me actually scoot back a little bit. Alright, so I think this is better. So I got, like I said, two Hoyas. Alright, I feel like this is a much better angle. So let me go ahead and see what I find here. Okay, here's the first one. This is on this side. Alright. So this one is going to be... Um, they're both rooted plants. You can also order uh, like rooted um, cuttings. But they're mostly list on the website cuttings. So if you're looking for cuttings, they have very nice cuttings. But I like to buy my cuttings and my Hoyas already rooted. So let's go ahead and check out how this look. And it kind of gives you an idea of how you can also wrap up your plants if you're doing like uh, Hoya swaps or like maybe you're gonna start selling them online, which is what I plan to do. This kind of packaging I like when it comes like wrapped up in like um, cotton, so that's really nice. So anyways, let's go ahead and see the first Hoya together. And I don't know which Hoya this is, to be honest. Oh wow. Okay, this looks very nice, very neat. Oh, wow. Okay. So this Hoya right here, I'll do split screens, of course, like always. Um, but this one here is Hoya, it has the name right here. Hoya Hot Some Pine. Hoya Hot Some Pine, or I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I'll put the name on the screen, but this is Hoya Hot Some Pine. Guys, when I tell you this Hoya looks beautiful, it really does. Um, let me take a little mess out. It's very messy. 
I need to really clean my room. It's been three unboxings that I've made in my room and I haven't cleaned my room. So you can only imagine how disgusting my room looks right now. I need to definitely clean it because it's really, it's really nasty. Okay, now something that I've noticed from them with the Hoyas is that um, they come with a lot of perlite and they send them dry. One time I got a Hoya that was wet and I didn't like that. And um, this time I got the Hoyas and they're very dry. But wow guys, this just looks magnificent. I think this Hoya Hudson Pine looks very nice. The leaves are quite chunky, very um, sturdy. And I always mention this, I like my Hoyas to be thick from the stem and thick leaves as opposed to like very thin. Um, if you guys, if you guys watched my previous video where I was talking about the Hoya, um, Lee, Hoya, Lee was very thin, kind of like a Thamsani hybrid and, um, comparing it to this one, this one is a huge difference, like, it looks like a Carnosa. Um, it looks very healthy, the roots are very nice, um, I like that it arrived dry, it doesn't have any water, like, they didn't water this plant when, you know, packaging it, which is amazing. The leaves are thick and chunky, they do have a little bit of um veining in them so i'm really happy with this plant i feel like this plant will do really really good so i'm in love with this one so this was hoya hot some pine um it does have a little bit of like burning damage on the leaves but that's fine um the hoya looks in amazing condition and it looks very glossy as well so i'm very happy with this okay and then moving on to the next one so, I'm digging. Okay, now this one. Okay, funny because this one feels like it was wet. This one feels like it got like they watered it before sending it to me, which I don't like it. I don't like it when they send you wet plants because that's a sign that the plant might even arrive with a little bit of root rot, especially when it comes to Hoyas. What Hoya do you guys think this will be? Leave me a comment down below before. Pause the video and leave a comment down below which Hoya you think this is. But definitely it feels wet. And it also has a little bit of bubble wrap. I don't know if you guys could tell right there. Oh, it's a lot of... Okay. I'm getting a lot of sand spillage. Before, I will make a big fuss if um, the packaging arrived with a lot of soil spillage, but now I don't care as much because you're ordering plants online. What, what else can you expect, you know? Oh, I can already see it and I'm actually in love with it already. All right, so this one here is Hoya Patsy. And the leaves are quite large. They look a little bit damaged, like a lot of burnage. I'll do uh, split screens, but let me take it out 100%. Mm. So guys, um, what have you guys been doing up to right now? Are you guys buying plants? Are you guys like on a no, no, no buy? Are you restricting yourself from buying plants? I have been doing actually pretty good when it comes to plants. Um, I haven't bought as much as I thought I was going to be buying. And I'm trying to just take care of the ones that I already have. I've lost a few, but yeah. Alright guys, so I just want to show you guys this leaf right here. This leaf completely looks damaged. Like, I don't know what happened to it. It just looks very damaged. Is it rooted? Yes, it is. It's rooted. But it just looks very, um, like, abused. The leaf is very thick, though. And it does have a nice tendril. And it actually has some new growth coming out in the back. So that's very good. However, the two main leaves look very, very, um, you know, like, meh. 
Um, it does need a little bit more of the soil. Um, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, it looks really good. I feel like they have these Hoyas potted up like in a bigger pot. And then when they sell them, they ship it to you in this nasty, very wiggly nursery pot. And um, because the sand does not, it, like, you, you know, when you barely potted up a plant, you could tell that it's like, it has not rooted in the plant. Like it hasn't, you know, settled in the plant, in the pot. This one feels like they just plop it in here and they're, they're, there's like a lot of soil spillage because the roots are not attached to the soil, if that makes any sense. Um, but anyways, the plant looks very nice, given the fact that this looks very, you know, like damaged, like what the fuck happened here. However, the leaf in general looks very nice, and very thick. Um, I'm gonna inspect this because he has a little bit of spider webs, so... Usually when there's spider webs on your plants, there's a sign that there was some kind of insects or maybe mealybugs or some kind of insects in your plant because that's why the spider got there because he got hungry and it was searching for um, pests. So I'm a little bit worried. So I'll be taking this Hoyas outdoors um, in a minute. Well, it's late at night, but tomorrow. And I will definitely spray them down with a little bit of my fungicide and yeah. So anyways, this was my collection. Um, I'll do definitely close-ups of this one so you guys can see. But um, yeah, this one is from Hoya, HoyaPlants.com. I'm very happy with them. For the most part, they've had uh, a really good um, packaging system. And I do say that the Hoyas arrive in a fairly good condition. The previous one that I got right now looked a little bit wet at the beginning, but it wasn't wet. It was just a lot of soil spillage all over the place and um, it was wrapped in bubble wrap, um, which I appreciate that. Um, overall though, I think that the Hoyas did make it in fairly good condition. They're in Florida, I'm in California, and the shipping was, they shipped them out on Monday. Today is uh, Wednesday, so they, sh they came in three days. So that's good. I've always received plants from them with priority shipping, so that's really good. That means that the plants will arrive to you within that same week or within a matter of two to three days at most so that's very quickly um you can only imagine if you live closer to florida than i am because i'm in california like the opposite of the of the map um you might even get them the same day or maybe the following day overall do i recommend this seller um like i said at the beginning i don't want to recommend no shops anymore this year because i don't want to be you know feeling guilty of having you guys purchase plants from a someone and then having your expectations not being uh, you know but anyways i think that the hoyas look very nice i am a little bit disappointed the hoya potsy because the leaf looked like it got you know like whipped or something scratched um but overall though i am happy with the hoya um hot sun pine i think it looks very nice and dainty so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are enjoying my channel as well um, thank you for subscribing i do want to give a little shout out to uh, people that always comment on my videos newman from instagram you know who you are newman thank you for always watching my channel and subscribing and um, always leaving me nice feedback nice thorough comments um carly from Instagram, you know who you are, of course, Carly. Thank you so much for watching and always leaving me nice comments. Um, Gilda started binge watching my channel a few days ago and she left me a lot of comments on my videos and I'm very thankful for that. So Gilda, um, thank you so much. I know she's a teacher. So I, she was telling me that um, with COVID, she had a lot of plants in her classroom, but once COVID hit, she had to bring her pothos in, in her house and curiously enough the plant started to decline and she's killing her pothos so if you guys have any comments that you guys want to leave Gilda in the comments below then give her some tips on what to do for her pothos um who else uh but, 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 but if i didn't mention your name i'm sorry um i just for the top of my head those are the ones that came out so misha also if you're watching misha thank you so much for supporting me and i like that i found you here on youtube and um yes so anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to use the hashtag gustus plants on instagram and um if you see a plant that you like or if you bought a plant and you want to share it with everyone and you guys um think that a plant is beautiful just use the hashtag gustus plants if you upload it and so that we can all you know use the hashtag and find each other quicker 
Um, but anyways, guys, so once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Kapun karigato, kusimasta. Bye-bye. Don't forget to drink water and water your plants. Take care.